It's me, Dora. Welcome to my channel. And today it is officially the start of fall for us in the Toka world. So we are going to be decorating our house for Halloween slash fall. So I have the twins with me, and I also have baby Cleo. And we are all going to decorate today. Dad is at work, so he is not going to be partaking unless he comes home a little early. If you enjoyed this video and you're going to decorate your Toka house for fall, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy. Ooh, mommy. I'm going to look on Pinterest because there are so many ideas there for our house. They're going to be perfect to decorate with. Oh yeah, I completely agree. Go ahead and look for some ideas and come back to me whenever you're done. Oh no, no, no. Don't worry, Mommy. I already got some ideas right here. We can decorate the ceiling with some banners, put pumpkins all around, and maybe even do some pumpkin carving. Ooh, well to do pumpkin carving, we definitely need to grab some pumpkins from the Harvest Festival. So we'll have to wait a little while. For now, we can decorate with what we have. I get to put the first item down, which is the pumpkin. Boop. Oh, good job, buddy. No fair, I wanted to put the first decoration down. Whatever. I'll keep doing some research. No more research. Give me that laptop. We need to decorate. Who's ready? Me! Me! I'm ready, Mommy. Me too. Oh, looks like everybody's ready. Okay, first, we definitely need to get rid of some of these very floral things here. And we need to replace them with some sunflowers or something. I don't want to completely get rid of all the colorful stuff, so I will be keeping a few of the items. But mainly having just Halloween stuff around. We can put some flowers in here, replace it with that. Just, I want to make sure that it looks very fall. I'm going to have to grab some fall decorations from in here. There's a skull. This is pretty spooky. We can put that down right by our little... Where can I put this? Right there, I guess. You can put one right in front of the house. That is, like, so scary. Imagine being a mailman and just seeing that scary skull as soon as you walk in to our house. Let's put a skull there. Ooh, there are some really freaky things here, like this googly ball of like eyes which i'll definitely put in the twins room that will be so scary for them and also these like spiders i think i'm gonna keep the spiders maybe down here i'll just put them right up here i don't really like these flowers that much i'm gonna put the sunflowers instead because they look more fall oh there we go i know there's like a mini pumpkin basket so we can put that right there okay so this room is done now it looks very fall what do y'all think i think it looks really good Maybe if I add... No, it's going to be too cluttered. Let's move on to in here where we are. Let's actually move these little spider eyeballs in there. And then we'll move on to the living room in here. And let's add some stuff into this room. So let's close these. So I'm just thinking about some spider webs being around because that is pretty spooky. So we'll just have a few of those around. There's also some banners of like these ghosts which is pretty spooky as well, which we can definitely add to the house. Ooh, there's a giant ghost. That is also super spooky. Now in here, I wish there was like a scary movie that we could put on. Maybe Tucker will add a channel for that soon one day. I don't know. They are coming out with a really nice fall pack though, which I really am so excited about. Did we get like a bunch of new fall clothes? But we're gonna need a lot of these little spider webs lying around because that is going to spice up our spooky vibe we got going on and then we're gonna need a nice little pumpkin going on there and then we'll have this cute little kitty pumpkin up here too and there are some little ghosts that we can add around so i'm gonna add some ghosts as well we could add a ghost onto this wall here oh and there's also a bat we can add a bat too i guess that's it for in here right guys i just need some pillows i need some paintings to add to the wall so i'm gonna make those as well I don't know if I should make custom, like, spooky paintings or if I should just make, like, basic paintings. We'll see. I'll see what looks better. Okay, so there's a lot of cool little, like, um, pillows in here. So I'm gonna add them. Where are they, actually? I don't... Oh, here they are. Okay. So these orange pillows are gonna be so perfect for in here because fall... Ooh, you know, it look perfect on that nightstand. There are some pretty nice fall foods in here, so I'm gonna definitely grab a fall drink for everybody oh <gasps> there's a pumpkin kettle oh my gosh let's put the pumpkin pumpkin kettle 
onto the little stove there. Where is the like, okay, here it is. So there's like this really yummy hot cocoa drink, which just looks perfect for fall, who agrees? And I can't forget, I need to make my picture, so I think I'm gonna go do that now so I don't forget. Let's go all the way down here, and I'm just gonna grab these little hooks, which will help us put the paintings on. Okay, guys, I made this super adorable little ghost painting, so we're gonna pop that right above... Ooh, that's way too high. Let's move these a little over. Maybe we'll just get rid of that one. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, I turned the little fireplace on just to add some more, like, ambiance. And now we're going to move on to in here. So these are some plates I made the other day for a video. So we're going to have to get rid of these. Get rid of all these old, disgusting pancakes. Now, I don't really like adding stuff to the dining table because I always put stuff on it. So we're going to just ignore that. And I'm also going to put her little DS in the elevator as well. And I don't know what to put here. I guess we could just put some flowers. Okay, so we have some sunflowers and then we can add something scary here. I don't know. And perfect. Okay, next we have the kitchen. So I'm gonna get rid of a few things and then I'm gonna add a pumpkin. I don't know where to put the pumpkin, honestly. Um, I like this little pumpkin tea kettle, so I'm probably... Okay, well, it looks like too much. Let's get rid of it. Okay, our fridge is still full, and then we have that there. Okay, so this is our lunchbox. I guess I'll put that in the dishwasher. Okay, we could put the pumpkin here, and then we'll have the toaster right there. We can keep that there, and then we have our syrup, which I'll just put on to the fridge. And then our Stanley, I like to just leave on the counter. So we'll just leave that there. And I guess that's pretty good. We can add another pumpkin down here, though. And also, we'll probably add, I guess, some, like, ghost or something. I don't know, just something to spice it up. Like a little... Let's put a spider web here. Also add some spider webs into the dining room as well, because I completely forgot to add them there. Okay, now, I don't really have anything in the backyard yet, because I just... Don't know what to put in there, so I'm just leaving it empty, but this looks pretty good. It looks so spooky, guys. Who agrees? I love that little painting that we added, and now we need to head to the kids' rooms upstairs and decorate them Halloween-themed. So I don't know if we should have anything Halloween in the bathroom, because that's just kind of weird, but I do want to make sure that this whole house is pretty Halloween-themed, so I guess I'll add some by the mirror, and we'll put one above the shower. And then we're gonna do in here now. So this is gonna be Jade's room. So she needs a few things. Okay guys, so first I'm gonna grab some of these and my DS that mommy finally gave back to me because I was hashtag grounded. I took my pet to school, but if you guys wanna watch that video, I posted it I think like a week ago. So it's so funny, you guys should go watch. I got in huge trouble though. But I do have some spooky spider webs we can add. A little basket and I'll just have that be right near my vanity there uh, maybe I'll get rid of my passy and I'll put that up there and I'll put my passy inside a drawer I feel perfect okay guys now it's my turn I'm gonna grab these and we're gonna go to my room and I'm just gonna put them around so we have that right there this right there. Let me put my backpack and stuff in the cubby. So my backpack will go there and my little lunchbox will go there. And now I guess we can add a pumpkin nearby. So let's add a pumpkin. So we're going to put this on our dresser and then we'll have another mini pumpkin. I guess we can have it right over here and I'm just going to grab the one that JD used and I'll have it right by my light. Okay guys, now this is my room and it's a little empty, I know. I just did not finish yet because nobody even really goes in here and I was just like, am I really going to waste my time doing this room? But I will add some decorations. I just need to finish it soon. Oh, we still have some poison. Maybe we can put this in the bath. That is crazy. Um, I don't know what Luke is going to do with this poison. He can just leave it on his little track there. And then this spooky little bunny guy. Does this glow in the dark? I'm pretty sure it does. We can put this in his toy basket right there. I'm going to get rid of this because he doesn't even use it. He has a whole iPad. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed us decorating the house.